Mr. Grego does join me right now. Gabriel, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. These are obviously explosive allegations. Uh, how can you prove anything that you lay out in your reports? Yeah, I would like to start with a couple of things. Number one, I encourage all the interested uh, listeners to open a report in our website or pin on our tweets and read it for themselves. As usual, I always present the truth as it is, and, uh, and every single allegation of mine is substantiated by a lot of evidence. This evidence is readily available in the report. May it be forced photographs, um, fabricated internet site, and all the other things that you mentioned before. So what do we say? Here there are two stories in one. The first story, you, you know, you described it very well, is the, product, the problem with the Jet 7 Extra Flex, which is a catheter that this company put in the market in 2019. It's been on the market since then. It's on the market right now in the United States. Um, that started happening as a result of a malfunction of this device from almost from the beginning that it was put from the market uh, until uh, very recently, even though the company made some changes that said it would have solved the problem, the last death was actually announced only one week ago. This product, the company never said anything about this death to, to our knowledge, to the public or to the market, until um, the Japanese uh, distributor of the company that was selling these products in Japan came out and said um, a letter to all of the healthcare providers in Japan saying to be careful with this device because there seems to be a problem that already killed eight people in the United States and three in Japan. To our understanding, after this letter, the, prob the product was pulled uh, from the Japanese market and it's not on sale to this day. We also understand that the project is not on sale in the European Union, and we inquired, and our sources said that this is because of the accidents. Five weeks after the Japanese letter, the company uh, came up with their own statement, which did not mention any deaths, and you know, just informed doctors to be careful and not to inject uh, conscious media into well, where, the, where the did you Where did you get the number of, of, of deaths that I, I read um, in my story? A significant number of deaths and, and injuries are higher than the numbers that you just cited out of Japan. Where did you get oh, those numbers from? No, no, okay, no, no, no. Listen, we, we're talking about two different times. You said 18 deaths and 39 injuries. That is the accurate, to my knowledge and, and to everybody else's knowledge, headcount right now. But in Japan, the laser was pulled out, it was put out on uh, June on this year. Back then, there used to be less dead people. Since then, additional deaths have come up. I mean, the death have almost doubled. Why? Because the, doc, the, the product has not been pulled out of the U.S. market. It's out from the European Union, it's out from the Japan, but it keeps being sold um, as we speak in America. Why is that? That's the first problem, it's been covered a lot. We wrote a report about this one as well. We believe that the company is being misleading in the way it dealt with the situation and they should pull the product away right now. But the second part, it's even more incredible and I couldn't believe it until I made vast amount of due diligence. Let me share to your listeners that this is not the first uh, issue of this kind that we uncover. Everybody's welcome to check at my track record we put a lot of uh, fraudulent CEOs in jail. A lot of companies uh, uh, were put out of existence because they were fraud from us. So we, we just don't shoot from the hip. We do our work very carefully and everything we say is highly substantiated. Now it is a fact that a large portion of the number of supporting research paper are attributed in several academic uh, online publications to this fictional character of antique bows. This person is a fake. We have no doubt whatsoever. How can you prove that? In, well. The, the proof is this. Number one, the person doesn't show up on any official filings, they, even though he claimed to have lived 10 years in America. Um, number two, the internet is full of fraudulent photographs of this person. Some of them are someone else's photograph with, his fa with, with, with a random page uh, superimposed on it. And many of them are people or uh, photographs of other people. One of them that we identified that we don't think has anything to do with this, for all we know, maybe they stole his identity, is a guy called Paul Daftarian. So this picture of Paul Defterian show up all over the internet claiming to be Antique Bose. This Antique Bose has uh, references, claims to have worked at the Fred Hutchinson Center, uh, claims to have um, worked at the Seattle Cancer Research Center, claims to be a professor at uh, Washington University. We checked we could, with this institution and we couldn't find anybody with that name. 